Hello friends, I'm Oom and today we're diving in the fantastic world of Linux again. And today we're gonna talk about something pretty interesting. We all know that Linux Mint is literally the King Kong of Linux. Even if it uses Cinnamon desktop environment which is pretty traditional or as Gen Z's like me say, old. The whole interface is pretty outdated in my opinion. But still, Linux Mint provides the best Linux experience in 2025. It's not beautiful and fluid and smooth like GNOME. It is not that powerful like Arch. And it is not even that lightweight as Awesome WM or those Linux Rises which are really beautiful. And it uses Debian and Ubuntu as base. And yet still Linux Mint gives the best experience of Linux out there. And they are literally the best reasons why you want to switch to Linux Mint today and ditch your current system. And the reason why I will be switching from Fedora 41 to Linux Mint pretty soon. Now there are a lot of reasons why you would want to switch from your current system to Linux Mint. But the best and foremost the first reason is the best stability out there. As your Linux Mint uses Debian so yes all the packages are gonna be really really stable. And then it uses an LTS kernel most of the time. And even if it is not, the whole system is like a customized version of, you know, Cinnamon. Because as you know, Cinnamon and Linux Mint Cinnamon are way too different. Linux Mint has a customized version of Cinnamon which uses some components of KDE, some components of GNOME and combine them on the base of Cinnamon. That is literally the best thing. The whole system is pretty solid and most probably you will not even face an issue for months. And then most of the creative applications are available right from the software center or whatever it is called, the software store. And Linux Mint also offers an option to directly install all the proprietary drivers along with, so you know, multimedia codecs, which are nowhere seen in Arch Linux Fedora. Yes, you can juggle through some repositories, install a lot of packages just to get that experience while you can get with one click here. Well, not here in Linux Mint. So yes, Linux Mint is really, really stable with almost no driver issues. But then the second option might even scare you in my opinion because I know what I'm gonna say but that is my experience. Linux Mint has the best desktop out there. Hey, just hold your tomatoes in your hands and hear me out. You see, so what is a Debian? So you see, what is a desktop? It's just the desktop environment which you're going to be using. It's Cinnamon here. And yes, you can install GNOME and KDE with some tinkerings, but it's going to break your system. Just trust me out. I've created a video about that. So the thing is, you're going to get Cinnamon desktop environment with a few components of KDE and GNOME all together. But the level of customization in Cinnamon is insane. You can literally make the most beautiful setup just with Cinnamon without doing almost anything. You're gonna get most of the extensions, things, from, you know, right directly from their tweaking application. And even if you don't, then there are a lot of beautiful rices out there. So if I had to just choose from KDE or Cinnamon, I definitely choose Cinnamon. But if I had to choose GNOME or Cinnamon, then I'd use GNOME. But sadly, GNOME is not here, but still, it is way far stable than GNOME and way far snappier and fluid than GNOME. And not to forget, it's lightweight nature. It's really lightweight. And as it is Cinnamon, you get all the goodies of Cinnamon. Literally, like the best set of applications pre-installed without you doing anything. Now, a lot of people might consider it like a bloatware, but it's not. You're getting all the utility tools, driver tools, almost all the tools pre-installed. So that is indeed a plus point. Now, my next reason is something you might not want to accept, but that is true. That Linux Mint gives you the best gaming experience out there. Now, I know there are amazing distributions like SteamOS, Bazite OS, Nobara Linux, but they all lack in one thing. That is the consistency of the frame rate. Like, yes, they're gonna get, give you way far better FPS, like 5 to 10 FPS boost in games, but that's at the starting of the game. The game starts and loads for the first time. You're gonna get amazing performance, 
But as you go through the game, you know, play like 30 minutes or 50 minutes, then the FPS is going to really drop very badly. Like, there was a time where at the start of the match of a Battle Royale game, I was getting 80 FPS, man, at the highest graphic settings. And then as the game reached its end and I was literally near to win the game, I was getting 5, 6 FPS. I switched my graphics to literally the lowest. Even then, 10, 15 FPS. Can you imagine, like, there's one thing called performance, but then there's second thing called stability. And then there's a third thing which is very important and that's called consistency. No matter what you do, you need to be consistent. And that same applies to gaming. The frame rate shall be consistent. Like, even if you have 45 FPS in a game, you'd want that 45 FPS to consistently maintain throughout the whole session of your gaming. And that is just the thing Linux Mint is capable of giving you. The most stable and consistent environment for you. And now let's move to the last and maybe foremost the most important reason why I'm switching from Fedora and Arch to Linux Mint. Like literally it feels like a downgrade as a Linux user because most probably a lot of users start from Linux Mint and go to Fedora and Arch but it's the opposite in my opinion for me. But the most important reason is well all the creative applications are not that optimized for cutting edge or bleeding edge repositories of Fedora and Arch. Yes, that is true. Even if you're gonna get really amazing compatibility, stability, performance, but like always those packages are gonna be bleeding edge and cutting edge. They're not really near to the stability of Debian packages or Ubuntu packages. There's a reason why most of the enterprises use Ubuntu or even Red Hat. Now, I'm not talking about Fedora, I'm talking about Red Hat, the enterprise version. They all give a very stable and reliable base for the set of operations and functions. And as a casual Linux user, I want to see him. And that is why, yeah, I will be searching from Fedora, like my most beautiful setup of Fedora to a really traditional, old, outdated setup of Linux Mint Cinnamon. But yeah, I'm, I'm thinking about Linux Mint Debian Edition. Like, that is literally the amazing one, but why not just go on with the Ubuntu one? That's also nice. Well, whichever I choose, it's gonna be really stable. Well, I can try Manjaro because I've never used Manjaro as a DD driver. Well, that is indeed a nice topic for a video, like challenge using Manjaro Linux for the next week for everything. Man, that's a nice topic. And as the... And I was experiencing a lot of glitches in my creative applications like DaVinci Resolve. In a, few, in a few videos of mine, I used some effects to resolve and everything. And the whole video after it rendered, it was literally really bad flickering. All the effects were flickering and the base video was literally visible. Like my whole editing was almost destroyed by this issue. And that is because of cutting edge packages, drivers, like the NVIDIA driver is really okay. But the other drivers, the Vulkan driver, the CUDA driver, all of them are really bleeding edge and not that well optimized. That is why I'm seeing the glitch. And that's why thinking about a cutting edge or bleeding edge distribution is not a good choice for a creative professional as the packages are not going to be that stable. And I believe you got the point. And that is why I hope you enjoyed the video. Like, yeah, the video is already ended. Yeah, let's do the outro, shall we? So, with that being said, I hope you've enjoyed the video. And if you do, then subscribe for more awesome tech videos uploaded on this channel regularly. And I'll meet you next video. Till then, I'm Moon signing out. Ouch.